Hey, what is up? I've got a great AWS EC2 tutorial for you guys today. So we're going to be hosting a, a website on an EC2 instance. For our website, I'm going to be using freecss.com. You can choose a free template from here, and then we can just easily get it into our EC2 instance. Yeah, so I'm going to use this one little fashion. All right, so first thing, let's go into AWS. You want to go to EC2, and under EC2, go ahead and click on Launch Instance. First, let's give it a name. We'll just call it my website and you can go ahead and scroll down and then you'll see this AMI. All right. So you can go ahead and click on AMI and then inside of AMI, you'll see the free tier options here. Uh, we're going to keep Amazon Linux. All right. So the default one uh, for architecture, let's leave this at 64 gigabyte and then instant type. There's a free tier and paid tier. Again, for this project, we're going to be using free tier, which will be T2 micro, which is going to be plenty for our project. Uh, key pair, just click create new key pair and uh, give yourself a key pair name. It's going to download a file. It's, you'll need that file if you plan to um, if you plan to connect to this locally on your computer. We're going to be connecting through the AWS console, though, in our case. The rest of this, again, we'll leave it default. Uh, we're allowing SSH traffic from anywhere. So yeah, just leave as is, click launch instance. All right, so then say success, successfully initiated launch of instance. So we'll go back into our EC2 instances. All right, once your instance is running like this, you can go ahead and click on the instance ID link. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and click on connect. All right, and you'll scroll down and you'll see another a uh, big orange connect button, click on that button. All right, and then you'll have this window that we connected into. So go ahead and run this command, sudo su, which this is gonna get you into the root user. It's generally a good practice to run update. So we'll do a yum update like that. to yum install HTTPD which is going to install the, um, the thing we need for hosting a website. All right, so we installed that. So next, I'm going to make a folder. So I'll make a folder called stuff. And uh, let's cd into the stuff folder. Okay, and then we're going to write wget. And this is how we're going to install the uh, website. So if you go here, you know, in the free CSS page, and you saw how there's all these, there's like 296 different websites you can choose from. I'm going to choose this one little fashion and then under download, don't click this instead, right click it and uh, copy link address, then go back to your EC2 instance and you can paste this link. And you'll have this uh, paste of a link that's going to end in a dot zip. So go ahead and run this. Let's run LS. And you can see we have now little fashion dot zip stored inside of our uh, folder. So we're going to want to unzip it. So write unzip little fashion dot zip. Press enter. And now we unzip all those uh, things inside of it. And you can see now we have two things. We have a um, little a 2127 little fashion folder and then a little fashion dot zip. So we want to go into that uh, that new folder we just generated. So let's do that. CD 2127 little fashion. All right, let's see what we got in there. So we have a bunch of things inside of here from contact.html faq.html, uh, index.html. So you can edit some of these right here. Like for example, let's say index.html, right? Nano index.html. And then you can see the HTML here. And we can go ahead and maybe edit some of these. Like for example, title, Maybe we change this to Alex Hitchens website. We'll change it to check with hitch. We have this H1 tag, so maybe we change this to H1 
full tech tutorials on YouTube by Alex Hitchin. And then we have a paragraph tag. We could change that as well. So like, instead of this default little fashion text, we could write something like, like and subscribe to this video. So yeah, there's that's how we can, you can go ahead and edit these. So I'm just gonna press Control S, Control X to save my index.html. I'm not gonna go ahead and bother and edit all of these other HTML files and fully edit the index like FAQ HTML contact.html, but I'm just showing you like how you can do that once you download it into EC2. All right, so next thing we actually need to move this stuff. So we're gonna write this MV, which means move. Then we put this asterisk, which means to move everything. And then we have to move it to slash var slash www slash html and that's where you have to move your website kind of assets all right so now let's cd into that so let's cd into slash var slash ww slash html slash okay and we'll ls and we can see all of the same things are here which is exactly what we need so let's now test this out. Let's see what happens when we click on the pub public IP address if this website is up. So you see this public IP address that you can copy. You just click on this link and you can see it keeps loading. So that means something is wrong with this. All right, so the issue we're facing right now, there's two issues. The first one is to do with security. So we'll fix that. So if you click on security on EC2, I'm going to scroll down to security groups and click this. And uh, if you remember when we created the EC2 instance, we only selected SSH. We actually need to add HTTP and HTTPS for this work to work. So you need to go ahead and click edit inbound rules. And then click add a rule. And we're going to add HTTP. And then we're going to select the 000 dash zero. And then we're gonna add one more. We're gonna add HTTPS. And again, we'll select this 000 dash zero. And then we'll save these rules. All right, now if we refresh this, you see it's still not working. So there is one more issue here. This one we have to fix inside of, inside of our EC2 instance. So if I write system CTL status HTTPD, press enter, you'll see this thing pops up where it says active, inactive, dead. So we have to fix that. Quite easy to fix. All we have to do is system CTL enable HTTPD, run that, all right, and then we're going to run the same thing, except we're going to say system CTL start HTTPD and press enter. And now if you click on public IP address, you still get this error, but if we take out the S, it will work. So if you just have HTTP dot this public IP address, you can see all our files load. We have the text I changed it to earlier and the pages work as well. The uh, configuring of the HTTPS is, there's a bit of extra steps to that. Yeah, so I'm gonna stop here for today, but uh, pretty easy to launch a site like this. Hope this was helpful. Another time we might cover the HTTPS certificates uh, and like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.